Here is the summary of the story The Bond of Love by Kenneth Anderson The author got their pet slot bear Bruno by accident 2 years before he and his companions were traveling through the sugarcane fields of Mysore They saw people driving away wild pigs Suddenly a big slot bear came charging out on the field one of his friends panicked and shot the bear as they watched the animal fall they saw something move on its back to everyone's surprise they realized that it was a baby slot bear the little bear cried pitifully over his mother's body when it started running the narrator chased after the baby and was able to capture it he put it in a bag and presented it to his wife his wife was delighted she put a colored ribbon around his neck and called him bruno bruno drank milk from a bottle then he started eating and drinking everything from porridge to curry to pudding to tea and buttermilk bruno became attached to their alsatian dogs and the tenants children As a kid he spent his time in playing and running around the kitchen and sleeping in the author's bed. One day Bruno had an accident. The author had put down poison for rats in his library. Bruno entered the library and ate some of the poison. The author rushed Bruno to the veterinary doctor and the doctor found an antidote for him. Bruno was cured and the narrator took him back home. Bruno had by now grown many times in size, but he was sweet, mischievous and playful. He was fond of everyone, but he shared a special bond with the author's wife. His wife changed Bruno's name to Baba, which means a small boy. She taught him tricks like boxing, holding a stick, as a gun and holding a stump of wood as his baby baba was growing into a fearsome creature the tenants children feared him now and he was kept chained most of the time the author's friends advised them to send baba to the zoo the narrator and his son agreed with them though his wife protested they managed to convince her to send baba to a zoo in mysore Though the narrator missed Baba, he was relieved that he was gone. His wife, however, was inconsolable. She wept and refused meals. She wrote letters to the curator of the zoo asking after Baba. It seemed that Baba was not doing well either. The curators replied that he was refusing the food too. They asked their friends visiting Mysore to check on Baba. They also reported that Baba had grown thin and unhealthy now. Finally, his wife convinced the author to go and see Baba. Their friends thought that Baba would not recognize them and advised them to be prepared. But Baba howled with happiness when he saw the author's wife. The wife ran up to Baba and patted him through the bars. She would not leave the cage. She stayed by Baba's cage and fed him food. When the closing time came in the evening, Baba and his wife cried bitterly. The wife tearfully asked the curator to take Baba back with her to her home. The curator told her to get permission from the superintendent who lived in Bangalore. So, the author and his wife went to Bangalore. The superintendent was a kind-hearted man and agreed to let Baba go home with them. His wife was overjoyed. The author engaged coolies to create a special island in the compound. A stream of water surrounded the island and separated it from the main building. A wooden box was installed for Baba to sleep in. Then Baba was released into his new home. His wife and Baba were both delighted at the reunion. What the narrator is trying to say here is that love and affection do not only belong to human beings. Baba, with his affection, 
memory proved that he is as sensitive as any human being can be the narrator also emphasizes on the strength of the bond of love between his wife and the slot bear baba thank you